So this morning we're gonna go check out a new form of treasure hunting. It's not really new, it's been going on for years, but it's new to me. I just started doing it this year and it's actually been very profitable, uh, both finding some good treasure for some quick cash and also some really cheap home furnishings. I just bought a house this past spring and it's allowed me to basically outfit my entire house for really cheap. It's way better than going to the big box stores and you just don't find stuff like that. What am I talking about? We're talking about estate sales. We're going estate sailing. We've been doing it over the summer. It's been great. We're gonna keep doing it. We have an estate sale here today. I just signed up on the list. For those of you that have never been to estate sales, generally, if you're gonna get here early, there's a list that goes out in the morning. You can usually find it right at the front door. Put your name on it because either that's going to be the order they let you into the house or that's going to be your number that you will get usually about a half hour to an hour before the sale starts. So you want to make sure you get your number. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck out in the cold waiting. All right, we have you guys attached to the chest harness using a GoPro today. Just want to let you know there's a few tools that you may want to bring along with you depending on what you're looking for. Sometimes if you need to know if there's a marking or if you're looking for signatures on stuff, get a loop. They're cheap. They're inexpensive. It's just a nice little magnifying glass and it can really help in certain situations where you need to get a close up of something. Right now I am using a 16 times magnifying glass really helps uh, especially if you're looking for any type of markings uh, signatures on plates dishes jewelry things like that get one of these little guys keep it in your pocket as you're looking through stuff you can just whip it out and go ahead and get a nice view of it also it's good to let everyone know that you are a licensed junk collector i like to put this either on my hat or uh, just on the collar of my shirt it's fun to walk around with Everybody gets a kick out of it at these estate sales because this is an awesome vintage badge. And I actually found this metal detecting. So this was one of the treasures I found going out and treasure hunting. And now I am a licensed junk collector. Sometimes this gets me a few good discounts even at the estate sales just because it's a great talking piece. But this is a fun little piece to have. Uh, if you guys ever come across these cool little badges, let me know. Uh, I'd love to see them. All right. We've got about 15 minutes before they give numbers out, and then the sale is going to start at 9.30. So it uh, looks like they're putting out a few yard signs, and we'll be good to go. We are in a ritzy part of town. There's a little bit more money here. So that's one of two things. Either there could be some really nice quality items that we can get for cheap, or there's going to be some really nice quality items that they still think are quality, and we're not going to get a good deal. But there's a lot of people lined up. I know a couple of them. It's amazing that there are so many regulars that go to these. These guys do it full time. They are full time estate sale treasure hunters. A lot of them are nice, but everyone's got their hustle. So we'll take you along. We'll see what we can find. And hopefully we come back with a good year or two. All right, we got the number. We're number 12 for this sale. And in about 25 minutes, we'll be good to go. 9, 10, 11. Your 10? I'm 9. Oh, we'll get up there. 9. Number 9. Sorry. You're right. 10. 11. Watch your step. This isn't up to code. That's a, that's a big step. What price did they have on the couch? Oh, fifteen hundred. Oh, yeah. That's, see, that's when it's like, oh. That's like sorry. You asked for those things new, basically. Is it just me, or is there a lot of stuff that's just not priced out here? Yeah, probably. Ooh. 
trainer. Sometimes when you don't know what things are worth, you just gotta look them up. Auto dial mounting track stand black burn. Are you finding a lot of stuff that's just not even priced? Uh, not yet. Okay, but <laughs> everything I've come across is just like... on the wall. Oh. on the wall for signs. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm not sure if this is missing a piece. Alright. Well. My quick Amazon search for this bike trainer. Seeing that, I mean, these things can be anywhere from 75 bucks used to 300 bucks in good condition. We'll take a gamble on it. See what they ask. See what they ask. Right now, 50 cents for a snow brush. Always need that in Michigan. Bike trainer shovel. Let's see if they'll do five a piece. All right, excuse me. Can I make a little pile over here somewhere? Is that all from the garage? Uh, uh, this shovel's from the garage. The snow brush was from a 50 cent bin. This okay. was downstairs in the basement. Okay, so I'm trying not to bring the garage item into the house. Oh. Possible. Maybe okay. Can you just start a pile in the garage with your stuff? Um, or have a, well? Yeah. I just don't want them to. Can, can, well, do you have a sticky sign? The oh, there is? Yeah. Yeah. If I just if we just write sold on it and just stick stick it by it. Yeah. Just stick those in there. All right, cool. I'll let them know. All right, thank you. Yeah, I was I was gonna buy it, and she said because I was gonna make a pile, yeah. but I don't want to walk around, but I don't want to leave it yeah. sitting, so I was gonna just see who was out here. I, I had to write one sold on okay. this, but for the shovel and the snow okay. brush. I'm going to just put it so it's out of the way. If you pay for it, I can let you out that door. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how much you have there? This was in a 50 cent bin. This was just with all the tools. I don't know what you were asking. I was going to see if you're going five, two. I was going to give you five, but you want to do five on the bike stand? Okay. And then what's that? That's just part of the bike stand. Okay, then you when you give that to her. Okay. Two fifty cents a five. Sounds good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. That fifty dollar one? It didn't it ended up not being fifty dollars, but it's still like a two thousand dollar bike and it's asking two hundred for it. Oh it's still a pretty good deal. Heck yeah. Oh well. Missed one and found one. Do you know do you know a lot about biking and stuff? Yeah. You wanna you wanna give me a your opinion downstairs? Sure. I'm gonna get a bike trainer, but I'm not sure if it's all there. It's out in the garage. My fiance bikes a lot, and she's got a bike trainer, and I wanted to get one too for the winter. But okay. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, it just feels like maybe a piece is missing.
Alright, so you set it up. Yep. Back tire. See, this is a little different than mine. Um, so how would you, because that's too loose, how do you adjust the... Because there's a, that guy on the back, but... More, there should be a way to adjust the resistance. Yeah. I mean, it's three level magnetic resistance. It might just be like, the faster you go, the more resistance it gives. But like I said, that, mine's a belt driven resistance. Mm, so. Okay. Oh, that did something. Okay, so you can pull that out. As far as know. as far as connection or oh, yeah. mounting the bike, that's all good, right? Yeah. Okay. You just put your bike in, spin that in, yep. it clamps on the rear. Okay. The wheel cog. That's what I was just wanting to make sure, because I was looking at the ends and everything. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's all there, but I know they're pretty simple as far as yeah. overall setup goes. Yeah. But cool. Cool, cool, cool. You're not gonna go tandem? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Every time I see those, I think of Mackinac Island. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm not. I, I did that once with, uh, with my wife. I had to throw the balance off and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it takes teamwork. Yeah. It's nice. It was nice to be like in the top 20 because I see people still waiting outside and I feel bad for them. I had the garage items. And that's it, 5, 6, 7, yeah. 50. Yep, I can go get 50 cents out of my car for the snow brush. I'll come right five, back. 5, 6, 7. Right. You sure? Yep. All righty. And then I'll open the garage. All right, good deal. Yeah. And I'll get out of here so you can let some more people in. There's a garage. That's 75 bucks. I don't know. I'm going to let him in. I can't do that. I can't do that. It would be fair. What if I had the next one? I checked it out, Joe. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. This was a good haul. We got the nice heavy duty shovel, cobalt, almost brand spanking new. Two bucks. She threw in the snow brush. I told her I'd get 50 cents out of the car. She said, don't worry about it. And we got the bike trainer. And my new friend there said that it's all here. It's in working condition. He's just never seen one with the uh, magnetic speed adjustment. His is belt driven. So that's the difference there. But for five bucks, I mean, this is easy, easily a hundred dollar bike trainer all day. For those serious bikers who want to bike around in Michigan in the winter, we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, you saw it live. That was a fun little treasure hunt in the estate sale. Things were generally priced to move, depending on the item. There were couches there that they were asking 1500 bucks for. They were designer furniture pieces. Not my style, not my taste, but in the garage, if you ever go estate sale picking and you're not looking for a specific item at that estate sale, the first places you should hit would be the garage and the basement. That's where your discounts are going to be. That's where your bargain items are generally going to be. You can always find really great items, especially in the used tool section, things like that. Great prices. Uh, I was in Ace Hardware just the other day. That shovel, they're asking 40 bucks for. I got it for two. 
Come on. <laughs> so now I actually have two of those shovels. I picked one up at an estate sale on Monday. That one they asked eight for, so I got two of those shovels for 10 bucks. You know, that's 80 bucks out the door all day profit. Great deal. The bike trainer, awesome. I could probably resell that and make a quick flip uh, on Craigslist if I wanted to right now. But like I said, these are things that I'm going to use and I'm getting them for super cheap. So it was a great pick today. If you guys like going on these live digs at these estate sales, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. We'll keep doing them. I'll take you along. And if you have any advice on any items you saw that I passed up that I should have grabbed, let me know too. It's all about learning. It's all about the thrill of the hunt. I'm glad you guys were able to come along. Until next time, keep swinging for the ring.